Lily and Archie disappeared from royal website overnight while Cambridge's kid pushed near to throne. Prince Harry could jeopardise future for his children as memoir to sever family ties. Following news of the planned release, royal commentators have warned the book could savage the Duke's relationship with his royal family by generating further controversy around his departure as a working royal. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, is set to be released on January the 10th next year and sparked speculation about the impact the memory will have on the Duke's relationship with the royal family. Lady Colin Campbell declared she was a lot less concerned than practically everyone is because Prince Harry has such a loose relationship with the truth. She suggested, I think that no matter what he says, he has a credibility problem. I don't think it's necessarily a situation of Harry wanting to damage King Charles before his coronation. Harry has every right to tell his story. He's been absolutely castigated in the media for the last two or three years. He has every right to say what he thinks. Meghan has claimed to be behind all of Harry's recent actions. She wanted to pressure royals to continue to fulfil a request and give Lilibet and Archie the titles of Prince and Princess. However, for now, everything backfires. Last night, the royal website updated the titles of all members. You can see the entire Sussex's family disappeared. However, the names of the children of the Cambridges are now pushed to the top. Well, the claw is digging deeper into Harry's back, making him ask his father for the titles and other privileges. Now, they don't even have the excuse of visiting the King to come back to Britain, and Meghan knows this. Also, how will the King justify to the British people giving titles to two children who've never been seen publicly? These titles mean something specific in the British monarchy's context, and are just the fairy tale titles that get thrown around as Meghan Markle seems to believe. I cannot imagine how the palace's lawyers will justify giving prince and princess titles to two children who don't have trusted birth certificates, and who've never been seen in real life. And the secondary factor is them not even residing in the UK, when the titles are Prince and Princess of the United Kingdom. Royal commentator Kinsey Schofield reported, If I'm Catherine, if I'm William, I'm worried about what is going to be said. I can't trust them. Speaking during an interview with GB News, she continued, William has already seen him, and Meghan can be critical of his wife on television. During the Oprah interview, talking about how Catherine made Meghan cry, it's totally irreverent. We didn't need to revisit that. I do think that he's going to blow it with his family, and I think that he's going to lose out on a lot of opportunities. He's going to jeopardise the future for his children. Royal author Tom Bauer reported, People will obviously scour the text for the slightest criticism of Charles, Kate and William, and they won't be disappointed. Of course, that will be headlines across the world that Harry dumps on the royal family, and unfortunately, the royal family will suffer. BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond added, When I saw it and heard the word spare, I thought this is pretty damning straight away. She continued, I think it's a bit like a boxer coming out into the ring with a massive left hook, really flooring the opposition. This is not what the palace were hoping to hear. Other royal commentators have suggested the memoir may not be as damning to the royal family as their colleagues seem to believe.